if your Bamboo Lab 3D printer with an AMS is giving you errors about the filament failing to fit into the tool head, I have the solution for you. First, make sure the filament successfully passes through the AMS. If it stops when trying to go through the buffer, then you've come to the right place. Start by removing the two screws securing the buffer in place. Once it's free, disconnect the 6-pin and the 4-pin bus cables. Next, use a pry tool to remove the PTFE tubes. This part can be tricky, but with a little patience, both tubes will come out easily. The issue lies within the assembly that holds the PTFE fitting. It's designed like a funnel meant to guide a filament smoothly through the buffer. However, there are two small edges, one on the left and one on the right, that shouldn't be there. These edges are just enough to stop the filament under the right conditions. If the filament enters at a certain angle or has a specific cut, it can catch on these edges and fail to pass through, therefore triggering a filament error. Bamboo Lab was kind enough to send me a replacement buffer under warranty. However, after inspecting the new unit, I found the exact same issue. This suggests it could be a manufacturing flaw rather than an isolated defect. So let's move on to fixing it. You're going to need to file down the edges, and the best tools to use are fine round files. I'm using two types of files for this process. First, I start with a rougher file to quickly remove the excess plastic. Then I switch to a finer file to smooth things out. I'm filing down both the left and the right sides of the opening. This eliminates any chance of the filament catching and getting stuck again. The top part of the funnel looks fine, so it probably doesn't need much adjustment, but a little smoothing never hurts. A Dremel tool can work too, but you need to be careful not to file away too much plastic or you might end up damaging the part. Now that the edges are smoothed out, it's time to test the fix. First, we'll partially reassemble the filament buffer. Start by reinstalling the first part of the assembly, securing it with two screws. Make sure the PTFE fitting is properly aligned and seated. Then reinstall the PTFE tube, making sure it's pushed all the way in the fitting. Begin fitting the filament through the buffer, keeping an eye on it as it moves. The filament should glide through smoothly without getting caught on either the left or right edges like it did before. If the filament still catches on the edges, file them down a little more. Otherwise, move on to reassembling the buffer. Before starting the reassembly, apply a small amount of synthetic lube to a piece of tape or paper. We'll use this to lubricate areas where the plastic parts slide against each other, helping to reduce friction. Begin putting the buffer pieces back together in the correct order, making sure not to miss any components. Don't forget to reinstall the PTFE fittings. As you assemble, apply a small amount of lube to any contact points where plastic moves against other parts. When tightening the screws, make sure they're snug, but not over-tightened. Over-tightening can restrict movement and prevent the buffer from functioning properly. Before adding the spring, test the movement of the buffer. It should slide smoothly without resistance. If you notice any stiffness, try loosening the two right screws slightly until the movement feels free and unobstructed. Once everything moves smoothly, install the spring and test again to ensure the mechanism operates as expected. Finally, install the buffer back onto the printer being careful again not to over-tighten the screws. Reconnect the two PTFE tubes and plug in the two bus cables. With everything securely in place, it's time to see how well the fix holds up. Now for the final test, I will be loading and unloading the filament a couple times using the Bamboo Handy app. As you can see, the filament is now passing through the buffer with no issues. The fix worked. Now watch the buffer in action. 
It plays a crucial role in managing filament tension when the AMS is feeding filament. As the printer moves through various printing motions, the buffer continuously adjusts, shifting back and forth to relieve tension, prevents filament strain, and ensures a smooth, uninterrupted feed. And that wraps up this fix. Hopefully this helped you solve the issue and get things running again. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more helpful content. Thanks for watching.